Hi, and welcome to Brewster to Puzzles. And I can't say the best thing since Slice Sudoku, because this is Sliced Sudoku. Um, this is the Slice Sudoku puzzle pack. Um, and today we're going to be solving Cheese Sandwiches by Frappi. Um, and yeah, uh, this is... <laughs> I've been recording this pack out of order. I'm currently up to like two months of recording this pack um, and I'm just doing it all piecemeal as they're coming in and everything. So you're seeing these in order of difficulty as they've been uh, figured out after we've recorded them all. Um, so um, yeah, I'm really not sure how this is going to go for you all, um, but just we're presenting the puzzles in the description below. There'll be a link to this puzzle as well as to where you can go and download the entire pack for free. Um, and yeah, the whole point is for you to try and learn um, as much about sandwich Sudoku as you can. It's a constraint that I was a little bit uncomfortable with and wanted to learn more about. And I figured the best way to do that was get a whole bunch of really good creators to make a pack. So Frappy is one of those really good creators. Um, and this is a sandwich variant, which um, apparently this is quite an easy puzzle with some nice tricks to it. So let's have a look at how this one works. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We've got sandwich, which is the numbers outside the grid give the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. So in this column, for example, between the one and the nine, we have to put digits summing to 12. In this row between the one and the nine, we have to put digits summing to seven. Um, but all the given sandwich clues must be filled with odd digits only. So we cannot fill any of the sandwich um, clues with even digits. That's a catch I've never seen before, and it's kind of interesting. I like it. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So my normal trick with sandwich is to highlight all of the ones and nines and all of the cells that can be one or nine or are one or nine get highlighted in yellow or anything that is one or nine gets highlighted yellow and anything that cannot be one or nine gets highlighted in green. Now, I'm just going to do normal sandwich tricks first. So, for example, um, these cells all see one and nine. So they cannot be... Um, a one or a nine. Um, these cells cannot be one or nine. Any of the digits that are already placed cannot be one or nine. Um, and let's just, before I think about the odd and the even, let's just think about how this is going to go. Actually, no, well, for example, we know that the sandwich clue in this column goes down and you can't do, if this was the, if this, well, this sees one and nine, so this can't be one or nine. Um, this sees one and nine, so this can't be one or nine. Um, but so the five clue isn't good, but the seven clue will work. It, this can't be a, a nine because if this was a nine, this would be a zero clue. So this has to be green and I have to go this way. But if this wasn't a nine, I'd have to do seven in three digits and, the min and it would include a four, which doesn't work. So this has to be a nine because I can only put odd digits between, which means this becomes a seven. Now, None of these can be one or nine now because I've already got the one and the nine in the row. Now, how do I do five? Yeah, this has to be a five on its own because the only way to do five in, in one digit, I can do a five. In two digits, I'd need one four, which doesn't work because four is even or two three and that doesn't work. And I can't do four in five in three digits because the minimum digits, because you can't use one or nine is two, three, four, which is nine. So this has to be a single five and then this has to be the one. So this becomes yellow and these all become green. Now, um, I've got a five here as well, and I can't go this way. And the only way to do it was with a single five. We just discussed this. So this is yellow and this is green, and these all become green. I need to put a one in one of those, but this sees one and nine. So this is green. This sees one and nine. This is green. This is a one, which is yellow. And these now all become green. There is a nine in one of those two. This sees one and nine, so it becomes green. There's no sandwich clue here, but there is a sandwich clue in here. Well, I can't make this a one or a nine. If this was a nine, the sandwich clue would need to go up and it would include an even digit. So this is doesn't include a nine. The nine is, well, and there's no nine here. This is the nine and is yellow and this is green. And I must do 12. So how do I do 12? 
So the one, okay, so this must only be done with odd digits. How do I do 12 with odd digits? Now I could do seven, five. If I don't do seven, I'm only working with one, three, five, and seven. No, I'm only working with three, five, and seven because I can't use one or nine. Right, I, all of these clues have to be made up with only three, five, and seven. I've only got the digits three, five, and seven to work with. So 12 is literally, well, three, five, and seven is 15. So I can only do the digits on their own, three, five, seven. I can do three and five for eight. I can do three and seven for 10. I can do five and seven for 12 or three, five, seven for 15. They're the only possibilities, but the only way to do 12 is with five and seven. And this becomes the one, the, the one which is yellow. These are now all green. These are all green. I have to put a nine in one of those, but there's a 12 here. And I can't go this way because it contains an even digit. And we've already discussed this. The only way to do um, 12 is five and seven. And this becomes the nine, which is yellow. This is not yet. Um, and these become green. This is green. There is a nine in one of those two. But this is the five and this is the seven because of the seven looking down. So what clues are done? I like marking off clues are done so I never look at them again. I haven't done the 10 here. I've done the five here. I haven't done the 12, but I can. I haven't done, I've done that 12, done that 12, done that five. I haven't done this eight, but I can. As soon as I make this three, as soon as I make this three, five, I'm done because it's the only way to do eight. The 12, which we've already discussed, the only way to do it is five, seven. This becomes the one, which is yellow. So all of those become green. All of those become green. And this is now the one by Sudoku. And this becomes green is the color on digit four, which is why I get confused. These are green and there's a nine in one of those two. One is right here by Sudoku. So that becomes yellow and these all become green. And realistically now I think I can get rid of all the green because I'm down to just an X wing. So I've done the 12 clue here. I have to do a 10 clue. I've done the eight clue here. And the only way to do a 10 clue is to make this the nine with it being a three, seven. This becomes yellow. This becomes yellow and not, and nine and get rid of the, the purple. These are not nine and I can select all of the green and make the green go away. And I'm done with the sandwich. Okay. So not normally a fan of a puzzle that gives you the sandwich and then it's just Sudoku afterwards, but this is an introductory puzzle. So it's perfectly fine. Uh, hopefully the Sudoku is not too rough. Two, two. Well, this has been a two since the beginning, but I was focusing on sandwich, not Sudoku. So I'm not feeling too guilty about that. Um, so five is here by Sudoku because I can't put five in any of those because of the five and the three, five looking over. So that's the five. Three is now in one of those two, but the five is looking up, making that the seven and that the five. Seven and seven means this is a seven by Sudoku. Five and five means five is in one of those two, but this five is looking up saying not that one, that's the five. This is a triple. Two, six, eight. There's no two there. So two is in one of those two, but this two is looking up saying not there, and this is the two. So this triple is three, six, eight. Two must be in one of those two. Three must be in one of those, because I can't put three there. So this isn't the three. There's no six there. So six is in one of those two, which means six is in one of those two. But three being in one of those in there puts three in one of those two. Eight is in one of these two by Sudoku, because I can't put eight there, which puts eight in one of those two by Sudoku. Two in here, not sure. This is a three eight pair, because I can't put three here because of those, and I can't put eight here because of those. This is a three eight pair. And the three is looking down, making that the eight and that the three. Let's not fix the pencil marks. Let's just put in the digits. So these are two and four. So this is two and four for the column. So these are now known. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the seven is looking down, making that the six and that the seven. So these are three and four. So these 
a seven and eight. And the seven is looking down, making that the eight and that the seven. The eight looks up, making that the three, taking three out of there. And this is a six, eight pair. The five is looking down, making that the three and that the five. These are two and four. And the four is looking down, making that the two and that the four. This column is missing six and eight. This column is missing four and five. And the five here is looking across, making that the four and that the five. So these are three and seven. Seems to be correct. Okay, making good progress. I need to put a four in one of these two. These are four, six, and eight. So these are four, six, and eight. I can't put a six there or an eight there because of the six and the eight already. So this is three, four, or eight for the column. That's not super powerful. I've done all the sandwich clues. So it is just Sudoku at this point. Got to put a three in one of those by Sudo for the column by Sudoku. So I can't put three in any of those or any of those. Three is in one of those two. So this isn't the three. That's now a four, eight pair, making that the three and that the four. So four is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. And four is in one of those three and those two. Yeah, that just works. Okay. Um, two is in one of those. That's okay. These are three, six, eight. That can't be an eight. So that's three or six. That's any of them. Three, six, eight. What haven't I put in? I haven't put a seven in here. Where's seven in this box? I can't put seven in any of those or in either of those. That's the seven, which took the pencil mark place of a four, which makes that a two. The four looks up making that the eight, which looks across making that the six, taking six out of both of those. This becomes a two eight, which makes that a six and that an eight. The six looks back making that the four. So this has to be three. This is now a three six pair to complete the box. But the two here is looking down, making that the four and that the two. The two is looking up, making that the eight and that the two. And these are now pairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is three and eight, which I'm not seeing immediately how to resolve. But one, two, three, these are four and six. And that I am seeing how to resolve. The four makes that the six and that the four. The six looks across, making that the eight and that the six. The eight looks back, making that the three and that the eight. And the three looks across, making that the seven and that the three. And now I've got naked singles in these rows. I have not put a six in that row and I've not put a five in that row. But the six here, of course, makes this the three and this the eight. The three looks up, making this the six and this the three. 11 minutes 30. This is probably going to be the opening puzzle in the pack, is my expectation. That one is a really nice introduction to Sandwich. Doesn't use any of the advanced concepts. I didn't have to think about outies or anything. There was a nice little parody puzzle, and it really helped with this is how to think about Sandwich without having to do any complex math. I, I like that one. That's a really good opening puzzle. This is like the 10th one I've solved, and I've solved even some of the treks into the wilderness, but I think this one could drop in at the very beginning. Thank you, Frappy. Really nice, and it's always good to start the day with a cheese sandwich. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoy this pack. I'm saying that as if I think this is going to be the first puzzle. I'm not sure I'll come across anything easier. We'll see how we go. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoy everything. I'm repeating myself, and as always, good luck with your solving.